If you've watched these videos or read my book, you probably know that the tools I'm talking about, I basically stole from Aristotle. So sue me, amen. Now, one of the best persuasion tools that Aristotle teaches goes straight to the heart of rhetoric, and it's called the advantageous. I promised in the last video I would talk about it, and that's what I'm going to do. The advantageous works like this. When you want to persuade an audience to your point of view, don't talk about what's good for you. Talk about what's good for the audience. In other words, it's not about you. It's about what the audience believes and expects and desires. So suppose you're a high school student. You want to borrow your mother's car. I need to go out with my friends. Wrong. It's after dark, and I'll be safer than bumming a ride from my lame friends. Right. It may sound sarcastic, but maybe you can do it better. Or, that way I can pick up some groceries and you can just relax. And I'll visit my friends along the way. Now, either way, you're appealing to your mom's advantage, not your own. And that's all the difference. That's what the advantageous is all about. She wants to keep you safe. She wants to get out of a chore. You want the car. It may actually make her willing to lend it to you and feel as if she's won. And that's what persuasion is all about. Both of you feeling as if you've won. Persuasion, as I've said before, is all about your audience, their desires, their needs, their wants, their beliefs, their expectations. So get into the habit of getting into your audience's head and you'll become a great persuader. I guarantee it. Just keep thinking. It's not about you. It's all about them. If you have any questions about that, as usual, or comments, feel free to leave them below. Subscribe to me on YouTube, uh, the Argue Lab channel, uh, or go straight to argulab.com. I'm Jay Heinrichs, and thank you for arguing. No, this isn't an argument. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's just contradiction. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It is not.